Hi there. In this lesson, we will review what happens in a car crash so you understand how critically important car seats are to staying safe in the seat. Car crashes are a bit more complicated than they seem, and here's why. When you get in a car crash, you experience three different collisions, all in a single crash. The first collision you experience is called the vehicular collision. This is what happens when your car hits another object. When your car crashes into something, your body must also collide with something to stop it from continuing moving forward. That collision is the second collision in a crash, and it's called the human collision. For example, if you're driving at 30 miles per hour, your body is also moving at 30 miles per hour. So when your car hits, let's say, a tree at this speed, your body, also moving at 30 miles per hour, must be stopped along with the vehicle. And what stops your body from continuing to move forward? You guessed it, a seatbelt. If you aren't wearing a seatbelt, your body will continue moving forward until it is eventually stopped. This may be by the windshield, steering wheel, or you could be ejected from the car and stopped by an object outside the vehicle. The third collision in a crash is called the internal collision. And this may be something you've never really thought about. Just as your body is moving forward at the same speed as the car, your internal organs are also moving at that same speed. But because our organs are, for lack of a better term, floating around inside our body, they too must be stopped in a crash. This is called the internal collision. Let me give you an example. When you crash into an object at 30 miles an hour, your body does as well. Think about your brain. It's inside your skull, but there's some room for it to move around. So when your car and your body are in that crash, your brain experiences its own collision. It collides into your skull. Use the same line of thinking for other vital organs. They also experience an internal collision. Broken bones heal, but internal injuries caused by crashes are not visible and often are the most deadly. I know this all sounds pretty scary, right? It is, but it's valuable context for understanding why seatbelts and car seats are so critically important. As we move into the next lesson, we'll review exactly how seatbelts reduce the risk of injury and death and protect us during the vehicle, human, and internal collisions of a crash. I'll see you there.